Hi everyone, hello and welcome to Happy Saturday Dollar Tree Haul. I am here, we are back together and I am always so grateful, thankful and blessed to be here with every single one of you. I hope you all have had the best couple of days since I saw you last on Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree Haul. I have some amazing, magical and fancy things to show you today, my beautiful, wonderful friends. So let's get shopping and then at the end we will stick around for our usual little chit chat. Now, let's go. I found that Quiet and Roar brand again in the body wash. I hauled another one for you guys, I think somewhere over last week. Well, there's other ones out there and I am so happy about it. This is a pineapple kiwi berry scent. Holy Toledo. Um, It says no parabens, dyes, no... um folates. You know, I have trouble with that word. Um, it does have essential oils and it is cruelty free. And this is 16 fluid ounces of this body wash. Will you look at that pineapple and kiwi berry? I am so excited. So, so excited to put that in my bathroom stash. So there is that first and foremost, and I love it so much. Now I found some great face masks that I always love to have in my stash because nothing is better than coming home after a long sweaty day at work, taking a shower and dolling myself up with a cute mask. So I found these three and this is from the Be Pure brand. This is the Mermaid face mask right here and I've used this so many times and I love it very dearly and it feels excellent on my face and afterwards so I found that little gem then I found this one from the same brand this is the sprinkle face mask and this one is berry scented so you know I love that hey did that mermaid one have a scent and I didn't read it yes it did this is citrus scent so there is that one and then we have the glitter face mask. These are just so much fun. I love them. And this is very scented as well. So all of these are really fun on your face, but then they do the job that they're supposed to do. So they make you feel all fresh and better. So I love those to put back in my, in my bathroom mask stash. Now my hands, we know we talk about my hands all the time and I need lotions, oils. I need all the things because these little babies are dry as a bone. And um, I found these lovely, lovely body lotions right here from Spa Luxury. I've never seen these before. This is called Crave. It has plum and freesia scent in it. And it's a 5.5 ounce uh, bottle of body lotion. And it smells really, really nice. So I was really happy when I found these because that is going to help me out incredibly much. Um, and then we have this one right here from the same brand. And this one is called Wander. And this has vanilla cashmere scent in it. And it's the 5.5 ounces of lotion inside of it. Don't they look like, uh, you know, Bath and Body Works, like style dupe, so that the packaging and everything looks like it could come from that store? I think it's wonderful. And then right here, this one is called Dream. And this one has cherry blossom, which is one of my favorites of all time, and peach scent. I love peach as well. So the five. 0.5 ounces of this one as well. I think that they are fabulous. One for my bag, one for my car, one for my bathroom after the shower. So pumped about that one for sure. Now, okay, we have so many things. We just have so many things. I found these soaps on a rope. Yes, I did. And I did find them in the soap section, but I'm pretty positive that they are supposed to be like with all of the beach stuff that's coming out for decorations for the summer and the nautical line. Now, this right here will be helpful when I go to camp so that I can hang it over the hook in the shower stall to keep the soap up and suspended so it won't touch anything and it is shaped like this beautiful beautiful little seashell I did try to sn like sniff out a scent but I can't find anything that mimics anything I could explain to you as long as it does the job to clean and it's pretty I'll take it for sure and then this one right here is shaped like that type of a seashell these would also be really pretty just to put a dish in your bathroom and set these on the sink for like a little summer soap dish. Um, that is really, really pretty. Also, I always have a beach theme usually in my bathroom for decoration in the summertime. So 
these would be really, really great for that. And then this one is the starfish. So I love, love, love all the great shapes of the ocean life and they make me super duper happy. So I picked those babies up. Then I found a whole entire um, set of bath bombs. Um, I had to pick this one up. I definitely had to pick this one up. This one was my favorite, absolutely my favorite, but they did have other shapes of bath bombs as well. And it doesn't say a particular scent on it, but that's a decent size bath bomb for sure. And that is going to be really useful if we go away. They have, um, they have, you know, cottages up in the main area where we like to travel and vacation over the summer outside of going camping. So a bath bomb with me on vacation is usually a must. So I got that in my stash now too. Now, okay, so let's do a little bit of like toys because I think that these are incredibly great and they seem to have like revamped them a little bit in this line. This is outdoor fun and this is a mini basketball hoop. It does say ages three up and um, I, my son still plays stuff like this. You know, he has one hanging over his closet door in his room and it's just a lot of fun. So it has the hoop right there, comes with the little netting that you can, um, you know, just put all around the hoop and the backboard and the little ball to throw it. So I'm going to give that to him and he will put that right up. He has the hole upstairs so he can have one in one room and one in the other room that he likes to hang out in. And then we also have this great little set for sand toys. And I love this. And same brand, the Outdoor Fun brand. And this is the sand, you know, sifter. And then it has the shovel and the rake. And it has a couple of little sand molds in there. So this one has the fish and the starfish. And I think that that is really, really great for $1.25. Because if I went to pick that up, even at the Christmas tree shop, which is up in the New England area, that would probably be around $3.99. Because when they stock them, that's usually roughly what they start at for a size, you know, sand toy set like that. So that's wonderful. And I'm so happy to have it. Because when I go to the beach, I still like to make sand castles. <laughs> so that's a lot of fun. Now, I did find this wonderful book right here. Yes, I certainly did. It says My Dress Up Mermaid. It says, and it has over 20 stickers inside of it. So look at that little starfish in her hair. I think it's perfect. So much fun and beautiful. Easter is coming. Put that in a cute little Easter basket. And as you can see, as you turn all of the pages, she can change the style of her mermaid outfit. Is that not the cutest thing you've ever seen? And then let's see if we can find the stickers. Where are those babies? Where are you? Hey, where are those stickers, ma'am? There they are. There's some right there. So there's a sheet in there so that you can dress her up. And I think that that is adorable. They also had some other books to choose from outside of just the mermaid theme. So that was too cute for words. Then I found these. These are fun. This is from Graphics right there. And this is the Space Explorer. Has three sands in it, three molds, so that you can create spaceships and shooting stars. So this is so fun. And the sand is fun to manipulate. It sure is. And look at those incredible colors that it comes in. There's the three molds that come in this box. But they had a whole box of different options to choose from for sand molds and Play-Doh molds. These are just a couple that I chose so that I can gift them away to my short people that I love so much in my life. Now, this one right here is also from the same brand. And this one is the Cafe. So this one has three dough, three molds in it and one tool. So that's pretty nifty. And I love the French fries burger and hot dog. That is too fun. Even if you were having like a cookout moment in the summertime and you grab these boxes now to have them on hand so that when the kids come over for a cookout, they can sit at their own little kitty table and have this as a little play area. That That is something that I would would do. So I love that. I love that so much. And they, they were just 
fun and amazing, the sand and the dough options. So I hope you guys find those. I did find them at like the top of the shelf and I had to pull them down to sift through them and see what they, you know, looked like. If I hadn't scouted them out, I probably would have walked right by them. So I was happy to grab them. Now, this is the last like toy type of aisle. It's not a toy. It's a picture. But like with children, I found a whole entire box of this wall art. And it's ca called actually Fine Art Print from Scamper Studio. I've never seen these before. This is an 8 by 10 As we know, the Dollar Tree has plenty of frames to choose from, 8 by 10s as well. And so if you can get a print like this for $1.25, grab a frame and frame it. That's $2.50 for a beautiful print to put on a child's wall. They had a bunch of them to choose from as well. But this one I chose specifically because this is almost the exact same um, duplicate look that I did my son's nursery in. So I'm going to save this print for the future to put with all of his things and you know if he has a child someday I can give that to them for their nursery wall or their childhood bedroom wall so I thought that that was wonderful and I couldn't believe how close it was to what I picked out for my son all the way back in 23 uh 2003 so that was pretty cool now oh my heavens I found more uh you know, wreath forms that I've never seen them have before. This is a huge seashell wreath form. Is that not beautiful? If you guys were here with me on Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree Haul, you saw that I found the mermaid wire wreath form. And so now I have this one to pair with it. I'm probably going to spray paint it so that it's more of a beachy type of like look because I'm not going to embellish it with ribbon or anything like that. But I thought that that was pretty amazing to display next to my mermaid fin wreath form. So I loved that very much. Then I found this beautiful, gorgeous little hanging. And it comes in three pieces that are kind of wiggly. So you could easily take them apart. Now this is just says wall decoration from the Shore Living Line. And I love each individual piece. And I also love them put together as a whole, I love the color combination of them. I think it is absolutely beautiful. I love the coral, the, uh, the seahorse, and the starfish on it. So I picked that up. They did have some nautical ones also. As I told you guys on Happy Wednesday Dollar Tree Haul, I'm not really like the nautical type of like decorator or anything like that. I'm all beach, you know, themed things over here, especially for the summer, but they do have so many beautiful things in the nautical line that are more like royal blues and navy blues and whites and reds intermingled with one another. And th there's a lot of stuff out there for you guys that um, really enjoys that line. So I love that. Now I found these and I love these. I'm going to hang them from my back porch as I'm decorating outside. This right here is called wall charm. And look at the little wooden beads up top with the rope to hang it. That gorgeous seashell with the tassel and some more beads down at the bottom. That's absolutely stunning. This is like, um, I would say like a plaster type of feel to it. So I, I would be careful with it, you know, outside. The wind could probably hit it against something and chip it. So just place it somewhere really carefully. I think it is so beautiful though, for sure. And then I got this one as well. This is more of a firm type of like, um, probably just plastic type of feeling. I love the nautical rope on it and that beautiful, beautiful star in this color. I think that they did have white options as well, if I can remember correctly in these, but I love, love, love that blue. So I picked that one up and then, oh my goodness, Oh my Lanta, will you look? I found these lanterns. I sure did. And I found a bunch of them. But the one that I chose was this one because the color of it was definitely my favorite. And I love the starfish all over it. Now there is a beautiful little light in there. And I'm wondering if it's going to flicker. Let's read it. It says LED lantern on it. I love the little handle up here. I could even just, you know, put a post up 
and hang that from it and put it outside in the evening when we're having dinner at the table at the patio set. And then down at the bottom, I did look for a pull tab. None of them had pull tabs on them. So I'm wondering about that, but there is this little, this little door right here where you can put batteries inside of it and the on and off switch. Now let's see if it says um, what type of batteries? Yes, it says two AAA batteries is going to turn that little light on inside of this lantern. So I thought that that was spectacular. I did take an overall picture of all of these things collectively so that I can post it on my community tab, which is right here on Crazy Days of Callan. You just have to scroll through the categories until you get to community, press on it, and then you can see all of my posts that I just kind of chat with you guys, share things with you guys in like picture form and messages and stuff. So I will put it over there probably tonight. So I love that. Now, before we get into any more, you know, decorative fun stuff, I do want to show you my snacks before I forget them in my lap. I'm so happy to see this back. I haven't found it again in probably over a month. This is my favorite popped corn, and this is the kettle corn. This is from the Act 2. There's three bags in here. They're decent sized bags for sure. Definitely shareable bags and not individual, but these are so delicious. And with my microwave, I usually pop it until about like a minute 55 so that it doesn't get burnt. But so, so thankful to see that back. Made me extra happy and fancy fantastic. Was thrilled about it. Then these Snyder's of Hanover, okay? These are my favorite pretzels and I don't find these often either. This is Snaps Pretzels. There's, it says non-GMO project, um, verified low fat. And these are like thin and crispy. They just, they have a good crunch. They're light and just airy. And they do have a decent amount of salt to them. So if you're sensitive to salt, I would not recommend these. But this is a really big bag. And these go for $3.50 in my grocery store. So I found these particular ones and I was like, I'm taking a couple of bags for $1.25. I sure am. <laughs> so I loved that so much. Now, I do want to show you some fancy cleaners that I am stoked about. I've never seen them before. I found this Ajax right here. Yes, this is stronger than dirt Ajax, and this is floral fresh. Wowzers. It's beautiful. It is so pretty, <laughs> but that's not why I need it. I need it for cleaning purposes. So this is 16.9 fluid ounces. And this says multi-purpose cleaner. So I'm going to just put that right in one of my little Dollar Tree spray bottles and clean away with it. And it smells really, really great. So was really thankful that I found that new little cleaner. Then right alongside of it, I found this beautiful blue one. This is multi-purpose cleaner as well. This is called Fresh bathroom. And again, it is the 16.9 fluid ounces. And my bathroom is about to be super fresh. So <laughs> there is that one in the blue color definitely made my eyes sparkle. So <laughs> I loved it. I certainly did. Now I found this big old bottle right here. This is Jai Gungus. It's so great for a refill. This is 32 fluid ounces of a refill. Comet is a great brand. Comet is sold outside of the Dollar Tree so many places. This is Comet Classic. This is foam bath cleaner with bleach. Removes dirt and soap scum buildup. And I love that. So 32 fluid ounces for $1.25. That's fancy. And if you get the regular size bottle, it's 24 fluid ounces, you know, with the spray bottle. So that you know, that's a lot of cleaning solution between a spray bottle with a solution in it for 24 ounces and 32, you know, for the refill, that's $2 and 50 cents. And that is a lot of cleaner for that price. So that is just fabulous. And I already have the Comet under my sink so that I can pour that right in when I'm done with it. So that worked out perfectly. Now my little honey muffins, What's still in my lap? Oh, I knew something else was. I definitely got another palm olive. Um, I'm finding that I'm having a difficult time finding my Ajax in the 16 fluid ounces right now. I don't know why. I've never had a problem before, 
but I only want the biggest ones that I can get for $1.25. So right here, the palm olive is 16 fluid ounces. And this one is the beautiful scent of the apple pear. And it has become one of my favorite pickups. That in my grocery store is $1.49 you know, for the same exact product, size, and bottle, everything. So, you know, I picked it up at the Dollar Tree. Now, okay, so let's let's take it down a notch because I'm so happy that I'm about to make this banner right here, and I can't wait to show you what I found. Now, I picked up this nautical rope jute, it says, and it's eight feet. So that is a really, really, really big nautical rope with eight feet of this beautiful, beautiful stuff that I can work with to make a knot banner with some fabric. So let's go through it. I picked up these three fabrics right here and they were so beautiful, sparkling in my eyes. This is from Craft, for, uh, this is Craft Fabric from the Shore Living Line. And it has this beautiful, gorgeous print with all of these stunning seashells in different colors, shapes, and sizes all over it. So I picked that up to go with this. Then, oh, and these are 18 by 21 inches of fabric. Then we have this one. And this one, for sure, I'm going to have to open for you. Because we all need to see this. <gasps> Oh, my heart, the mermaids, my sand dollars, the coral and the starfish. That is so, so, so pretty with that royal uh, blue in the background. And then this one right here that has the mermaid scale print all over it. So those three types of fabric right there on tied in knots all along that nautical rope. Then I found these I found these as well in a separate box on the side. And these right here are 18 by 21 inches also. And this is the burlap craft fabric, but it has the gorgeous starfish all over it. So I'm going to cut these so that I can intermingle them with that other fabric that I just showed you. Then I got a beautiful cream one, a light, light cream to go with it as well. Same exact size. And then this one that has the mermaid scales on it. All of this beautiful burlap. So I got three of the material fabric, three of the burlap fabric, and that nautical rope so that I can have a nice, a nice craft session and put that together. So I love it. It's so much fun. If you guys um, have never been over there, I do have a second channel that's kind of just my channel to hang out with you guys. It is called Crazy Callen Vlogs. And last year, I think it was last year, almost a year ago, I did put up a tutorial type of video to show you how to do knot banners when I was taught them. So I wanted to let you guys know that in case you wanted to go check it out and look at it. Now, these picks, I found these picks right at the bottom shelf in the nautical section that they're putting up, and I loved them. There's so many things in this new uh, Living Shore, Living Shore? Shore Living. Dyslexic. I am dyslexic. <laughs> um, the Shore Living line right here. Uh, they have so many new things that I did not find last year, so I'm going to have so much fun finding them. So this one is you know, so many beautiful little greenery all fluttering about and that gorgeous seahorse right in the middle. So I picked up this pick. Then I picked up this one with those cute little swirly twirly seashells all over them as well. And this pick is just one pick. And I'm going to put those together with probably some pretty florals if I can find some that I think mesh well with this and make a whole vase out of them. So there is that. Now, last but not least, I found this wonderful, wonderful sign. And I love it. It says love. It says love. So I just love how they did this with the nautical rope all along it. I might doll it up a bit more with some like blue gems and stuff to kind of make it little sparkly points throughout it and jazz it up just a titch. Um, there is a hanging mechanism on both ends so that you can put this up on a wall if you want to hang it. 
but I love it just as is or if I make it a little bit more special and they did have some other words to go with as well so that is it my little honey muffins thank you guys so much for being here with me I love you all so incredibly much if you are new here hi I'm Callan. I would love it if you'd stick around, stay, like, share, subscribe, comment down below, hit the bell notification so that you are aware of every single time that I upload a new video. Here on this channel, I do Dollar Tree hauls on Saturdays, Mondays, and Wednesdays, and I am so, so grateful to be here with all of you and be at a point in my life where I can do this and meet so many incredible people that I get to talk to on a regular basis. You make and bless my weeks so much. I just couldn't even begin to tell you how much. So thank you for that. Now for the last couple of moments, I'm going to show you some more of my Disney Dorable collections. Now I am going to need my friend Amanda to help me out the most because she knows so many names of these beautiful little babes now I have four of these guys that have these beautiful fairy wings on them and I love them so much but I haven't seen the Disney movie that these come from and I'm definitely definitely trying to figure out what their beautiful names are and what movie I need to be watching next to watch those cute little fairies flutter about so let me know if you know any of you um, who those little gems are and then last but not least for my moments with you my love for you writing prompt book that is at the Dollar Tree um, that I picked up for my husband right before Valentine's Day and filled out and embellished for him I have been reading you one page at the end of every haul so today we are on this page right here this one says the prompt says I was yours from the moment you and then I filled in said you wanted to love and be there for Isaiah as his father because he is your son in your heart, you said. So that is what that says right there. Um, I met my husband when my son was roughly, I think he just turned six, and uh, we started our life together as friends, and then it progressed into a very beautiful family. So I'm so grateful for my husband um, for just so many reasons. You have no idea. So thank you guys for staying with me. My heavens, I'm going to cry. Okay. Um, Thank you guys so much for always staying with me and sharing these couple of moments. I love you all so incredibly much. Please go be happy, safe, love, blessed, kind to one another and amazing the next couple of days until I see you next on Happy Monday Dollar Tree Haul. I love you. See you soon. Bye.